Hi there, welcome to the tutorial on layer keys. In this tutorial I'll show you how to set keys for individual layers of items. I'll do this brief demo of two props layering to demonstrate the difference between layer keys in a single item and two different items. I have a sun and an earth here, and I want the earth to rotate around the sun. The first thing I'll do is move to a future frame, and then set the first step on my path around the sun. I'll do the same thing with the second step, which will be at the top, then complete the path so there are four total points. As you can see, I can adjust each different point by clicking and dragging. You can see that when I play back, the earth is always in front of the sun. Let's change this so the earth will actually look like it's revolving around the sun. I'll go to the apex of my path here and add in an absolute key. What I want to do now is move the earth slightly back on the Z axis by using the Z depth arrow at the bottom of the selection box. You can see that it will also go down a bit because as I move it further back on the Z axis, it will affect the perspective as well. Now you can see that when I scrub the timeline ahead, the earth will revolve around the sun and return to the exact same place. This is how Z depth animation is done with two separate objects or props. What I'm going to do next is demonstrate how you can animate layers in a character by using the layer panel. I'm going to apply this custom motion I've made to Mr. Rosenberg here. As you can see, his hands pass in front of his face. I'm going to open the timeline in the body motion track, and you can see that the motion clip appears there on the track. The animation is a bit quick, but if I toggle the loop speed switch to speed, I can click and drag the motion clip to extend its length and slow down the animation. Then I'll toggle it over to loop and drag to make another identical motion clip. Now when I play back, you can see my character will perform the same motion twice. What I'll do now is go to the middle of both of the clips, then select my layer panel on the bottom right. You'll see that the hierarchy of all my character's parts will appear. Previously, my motions had the hands going over the face, but now what I can do is select the face in the hierarchy and move it to the top. As you can see, the hands are in front of the face at first, then go behind the head on the second motion. I'll click and drag to create a third motion, and once again move to the space between the second and third clips, then move the head down the layer hierarchy to its original position. This time when I play back, you can see the hands will go in front of the face, then behind, then in front once again. I'll open the layer track now so you can see the key that each layer action is put into the timeline. If I take that third layer key and drag it ahead further on the timeline, you'll see that my character now puts his face in front of his hands only the first time. The other two times go behind the head. Now I'm going to try a side motion on a front facing character. As you can see, the arms look pretty anatomically incorrect. What I need to do is fix this and go to the point on the timeline before my character's hands go in front of his face. So I'll just scrub to that point and then do something similar to what I did in the previous example. Before the arm and hand move to the head, I'll move them down on the hierarchy. You'll see now that they will move behind the head but still in front of the torso. What I can do next is move those three elements down to the bottom as I don't have to worry about any other overlaps with other body parts. Now when I play back, you can see the difference. With the timeline open, you can see the two keyframe edits I've made here. If I move the second one ahead, there's no difference. As you can remember, that's when the right arm was moved to the complete back. However, if I move that same keyframe forward to the time when the hands are moving to the hips, then you can see that it will remain in front of the body, then disappear behind the body midway. As you can see, with the great new feature of layer keys, your animation options are much broader.